Today, we are going to look at Art and Design Essentials. Art and Design Essentials includes Octave 3D, Uber Standard Shader Ultra, and Fog Volume 3. These assets are designed to improve your productivity working in Unity and to help you create beautiful content. The scene I've created here is a fly-through of a Japanese village on a misty morning. As the camera moves through the scene, snow begins to fall and blankets the environment. We're going to look at how I use the assets from Art and Design Essentials to create this. First, let's look at Octave 3D. Octave 3D is a robust Unity Editor extension which allows you to build 3D worlds from modular components with a variety of snap and paint tools. Working with it makes laying out large levels super fun and easy. Since this is a quick demonstration, I'm going to add a simple fence to my scene. I'll begin by creating an empty game object and attaching the Octave 3D World Builder component to it. Next, I'll open the Octave 3D Prefabs window and drag my single fence segment prefab into it. Now, I'll select the Paths mode. I'll make sure that Rotate Objects to Follow Path is active so that as my fence turns, my objects will be oriented correctly. I'll click once to place the start point of my path. As I move the mouse, we can see rectangular gizmos being drawn, which outline where my fence will eventually appear. I'll click to set each of the four corners of the fence, enclosing the flat area outside the houses. When I'm done, I'll hold Shift and click the left mouse button to instantiate the fence. This is an awesome, quick way to lay out a level in which elements snap and align cleanly together and allows for tons of creativity and rapid iteration. Next, we'll look at how we achieved our dynamic shader-based snow effect using Uber Standard Shader Ultra. Uber Standard Shader Ultra is built on top of Unity Standard Shader, but adds a whole variety of excellent effects, including diffuse scattering, refraction, translucency, dynamic weather effects, and many more. We're gonna use it here to create our dynamic snow effect. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that all the materials for the objects which we want to receive snow are using the Uber Standard Shader. Luckily, since it's built as an extension of the standard shader, we can just select all those materials and change the shader via the shader menu. Once we've done that, with the materials all still selected, we want to turn on the dynamic snow portion of the shader. We'll turn on world mapping, which will map the snow on top of objects in world space. We want to be able to globally adjust the snow level for our scene, so we'll switch that on at the bottom as one of the global controls. Next, in order to control our snow at runtime, we'll click the controller button. This will prompt us to add an Uber Global Param script to the main camera. We'll accept. In the script added to the main camera, we'll turn on the Rainfall Snowfall controller and set the fall intensity to 0.3. I've added a simple script which allows me to set the temperature to negative one when I right click and 20 when I left click. I'll also add the snow prefab from the package to the scene. This is a particle system which will follow the camera and display snowflakes when the temperature drops. As you can see, we've quickly and easily created a dramatically different feeling in our scene without reauthoring any assets, opening up all kinds of interesting dynamic possibilities. The third asset we're going to use is Fog Volume 3. This asset creates beautiful dynamic volumetric fog effects which add tons of depth and atmosphere to your scene. 
Possible effects with this tool include clouds, nebula, and all kinds of interesting dynamic visuals. Here, we're gonna use it to add some misty clouds blowing through our scene, adding to the cold, wet atmosphere. First, we're going to add a fog volume game object to our scene by choosing Fog Volume, Create Fog Volume. We'll see that this will cause a gray box to appear in the scene view. This is the area in which our fog will be generated. Since our camera is flying up the street, we'll set the shape of the fog volume to predominantly cover that area. Now, we want to give it some character. The main thing we'll use for this is noise. We want some wispy clouds that we can fly through and noise will help us to shape those. We'll activate the noise module and set the scale to around 15. We'll add some swirl. We'll set that to 0.8. Then we'll add a nice slow rotation speed of 1.5 and set the axis of rotation to X so that the clouds blow horizontally across our scene. We'll also assign a gradient texture to fade their opacity a bit. We'll use the provided Clouds 06 texture. Now, when we play our scene, we can see that we've got these great wispy clouds that our camera can move through. If I had to create any of these three assets from scratch, it would have taken a huge amount of time and effort. Instead, using Octave 3D, Uber Standard Shader Ultra, and Fog Volume 3, I got to spend that time playing around, being creative, and thinking about my artistic goals while trying to create a scene that captured a certain emotion for me. This is what the Essentials Packs are all about, providing tools so that you can spend time being creative instead of reinventing the wheel. Check out Art and Design Essentials, and I can't wait to see what you create with it.